Hey guys, me here again. I um, wanted to make a quick video on uh, sort of a mini tutorial of sorts on how to uh, do the little modifications that I did on the uh, uh, Neo Geo X. Um, got mine right here. A um, couple of video or a couple of uh, viewers I had had some questions about it. Wanted me to see if I could post a tutorial on uh, basically how I did this. Um, I can't really do a good tutorial of sorts only because that. I have one already that I did. Uh, I don't uh, see myself getting another one just to do another tutorial on it. I don't feel like taking it apart or anything. Uh, but I'll show you how I wired it up. And at the end, I'm going to give you some ideas that I had on how it could be done better. So anyways, uh, check this out. I'll show you what I got. Okay, so here's the guts of it. <clears throat> I'm not going to go over taking it apart because basically all it is is about uh, 12 Phillips screws uh, that you'd remove. And then the whole top of it pops off. But anyways, uh, first note, uh, this is the main interface section right here. This is the little board that uh, all the information goes to. So basically on the back you got your HDMI, AV out, AV out and DC in. <clears throat> so that makes more sense when you look at it here. So this one right here, this is your AV out connected to the board right there. Uh, positive and negative on your uh, power. So that's where your your power comes into the board and then of course your HDMI. I'm gonna to get to that towards the end of my thoughts on what could be done better on that. So anyways first things first uh, let's show you how I did the power to it. So following this it runs all the way along the sides here to the switch. Okay so from this switch uh, first off the power button or power uh, wire goes in here and then goes out here and that's where it would actually <clears throat> go to the interface that comes all the way around here for the uh, power to the system from the um, mini USB so what I did was rather uh, took the, the power out from the switch and wired up uh, put a a wire extension to it along with the ground that was just coming from here at the top so ground from here goes all the way around here and through to this wire here so uh, what I did was that I wired it to a micro USB connector you can get these online super cheap uh, last set I got for another project I was doing you can get like uh, ten of them for like three dollars. They're really cheap and you just solder the the wires on yourself So that's your power. So that way you can just turn it on and off at the switch here So that's good for convenience sake uh, second is the video uh, So uh, give me one second and I'm gonna take this board off and show you the other side and how I did that Okay, we're back here uh, just a note on taking this off uh, there's a bracket here that holds all these cables in place for the docking station. You have to remove that in order to properly, properly remove this. So I've already unscrewed everything. So that's why I can show you the back what I've done. So as in my previous video, uh, I made a note as to which pin does what. And so I've uh, basically soldered the corresponding uh, wires to the corresponding locations of the pins. So uh, this black one here is the sound. So uh, the red would be the right and I believe the white is the left and then this bare one is the ground. And then this gray cable here that one's the video. So you got your video signal and then ground. So refer to my previous video. I'll We've already gone over getting power to your system. To the switch from the switch got your ground and power awesome uh, we went over getting composite video where to solder and of course naturally you have your HDMI which I'll go over that in a little bit then lastly what we have here this was a little bit tricky uh, because um, how the system set up but basically originally this is set up uh, if you look in the back here, my crappy soldering, but uh, also as in the previous video, I kind of went over this 
ever so skimmingly. Uh, but if you look here uh, on the far right here, the red one, that's your power. The white and the green, those are your data. And then the black is your ground. Now, originally this is set up with wired to this is a uh, micro USB cable uh, that gets routed to here. And basically what that serves as uh, the input from the Neo Geo X handheld uh, from there goes around here to this, which is essentially a two port USB hub. So I just removed the micro USB, put in a regular USB and plugged it into the, the Raspberry Pi and it works fine just as a uh, simple hub. So basically all you had to do, flip it over, desolder, there's a little bit of uh, hot glue on it. You could use your uh, soldering gun to kind of uh, soften the glue to take off the glue and then desolder the micro USB cable going to it and then just solder on the USB cable of it. Uh, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. Just match it color for color or just designation. So power, white data, green data, ground, simple. So other than that, that's basically it. Uh, one thing I did want to mention though, um, I'll get to it in just a second here. Let me put things sort of back together and give you an idea of what I'm talking about. Okay, so here it is all back together. So uh, at this point, we're all up to speed on how it was done and everything. So one last thing I wanted to note is uh, this HDMI output here. I think that could be used for uh, a lot easier or maybe even a different way of approaching this. I was thinking if I was to do this again, I'd probably get a Raspberry Pi Zero, uh, wire up the power the same way uh, from the switch like I did. Uh, but rather than fiddle with these, uh, since you know you most of us have a, uh, a modern TV with HDMI on it anyways, um, this is only really looking decent on an old CRT because on the modern TVs going composite, it looks like garbage. Uh, but if you just plug the Raspberry Pi Zero in itself into the micro HDMI or mini HDMI port there, and then uh, wired the power up like this, and then did the modification uh, to the uh, USB hub, you might actually get a, uh, a little bit easier setup and it a lot cleaner because you don't have all so much garbage in here, uh, since the, especially since the Raspberry Pi Zero is so much smaller. Uh, but anyways, I'm not gonna do it at least not right now. Um, this project to me is kind of done. I've moved on from it. Uh, but that's basically how it's done. And I uh, hope you guys appreciate uh, the sort of tear down and little guide on this. So let me know if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer them. Thanks.